What could be more painful, walking barefoot along Brighton Beach or running around the cycle track here at Preston Park for four back-to-back -back marathons, the equivalent to 105 miles? Well, we speak to Joe Addison and see how he prepared for this gruelling event. We are here tonight at the Grand Hotel for the annual Sussex Sports Awards hosted by Danny Pike and heptathlete Louise Hazel. What was your main support growing up as a child and getting into sport? Was it your family? Was it, was it a teacher you remember? I mean, what really truly inspired you? We were talking about this actually on our table tonight. Um, I guess my, my first support network had to, to start at home really. Left-handed or right-handed in cricket, does it matter what, what's best? <laughs> um, it doesn't matter. Um, the, I'm a, I was a right-handed batsman and a left-handed bowler, albeit a very bad one. Staying with the Albion and in just over two weeks, the women's side will take to the Amex pitch for the first time in their history. The match marks a landmark occasion for the Albion women as they'll look to break the women's attendance record, which currently stands at 3,180, set by Manchester City and Notts County. And head coach James Mars says that whilst his team are excited for the match, they must make sure to focus on games between now and then. Where do you think England can finish at the end of the World Cup? I know we haven't even started. Your predictions, Ollie Phillips? Where can England finish? Uh, I mean, it, it, home support is huge for them. We're here this evening at Culver Road in Lansing for the Sussex Senior Cup. It's White Hawk against Lansing. White Hawk have had a very successful FA Cup run, but will they be successful tonight? Over the years, you've had to go through, I'm sure, as most athletes do, adversity. How do you get over that and come out on the stronger side and win gold, for example? I think, you know, the hardest thing about adversity is always, you, you're always in the present moment. When adversity strikes, you never know when it's going to hit. Thanks very much, Mike. Yes, we start today's news with Brighton and Hove Albion and the Seagulls will be taking on at Derby away this weekend. And ahead of that match, we heard from Albion manager Chris Hewton and Gordon Greer. What certainly important is, is that we, we hopefully don't pick up injuries in, the, in that period of time. Um, what the leveller is, is that um, it's the same for everybody else. What you've got in that dressing room is uh, you know, a squad of players that love playing football. <laughs> You know, we're, we're fortunate and blessed that we that we can do something that we love for a living. On to non-league football now, and there's a jam-packed fixture list for you coming up this weekend. White Talk will be taking on Dover Athletic. I'm here this evening at the Amex Stadium for Brighton and Hove Albion's first 2015-16 season game against Nottingham Forest. Now, they ended their pre-season campaign on a high when they beat Sevilla 1-0, so hopefully they can start this season on a high as well. We saw the introduction of Bobby Zamora in front of the home crowd, so that was extremely exciting. Thank Thank you, Cathy. OK, that's just about it from me for now. Time now for us to hand over to Latest Sports' Jamie Walker, where the Albion entered the record books after they continued their unbeaten start to the season.